So my prediction now. is, next to the Toyota, this is gonna be the most viral thing we've ever put out as EVs. You think so? Dude, this thing is amazing. This is our best work yet. Just one, did you know it's electric? No, you're kidding me. It's all electric. Why? Do it to your own car? No. Uh, kind of electric or? Not really. I appreciate the engineering that went into this, you know, but, but electric cars are, you know, the wave of the future apparently, but the old cars are never going to go away. On this episode of Disrepair, we build our most controversial car yet. Would Henry Ford roll over in his grave, or would he give us a big thumbs up? Oh boy, what do we have here? It looks like the boys at Flash Drive Motors has done it again. At first glance, it's one of Henry Ford's finest. But under the hood, you'll see the sparkle of a modern marvel of engineering. Yes, sir, this car runs on the magic of electricity. My goodness, what will they think of next? Flash Drive Motors. Blowing mines instead of head gaskets. You're probably wondering, why would anybody bring their perfectly restored 1930 Model A Roadster to flash drive to have it converted to electric? To understand why, you have to understand the backstory of this car. Now, it's been in the same family since the 1950s and they are the second owners of it. They had the car meticulously restored to the condition you see here, but unfortunately after it was finished, they were disappointed that they couldn't drive it in everyday traffic, and it still had problems with overheating. The gentleman told us that his only goal for the car was to be able to take his mom to go get ice cream once again and have a trouble-free ride home. Luckily for him, we're no strangers to Model A's. As a matter of fact, I was going to do a video on driving a Model A to work every day as a daily commuter. You're probably wondering, um, how did that whole week of driving to work go? I obviously blew the head gasket while I was driving to work. Now we might not have finished that project, but we're definitely going to finish this project in this video, so stay tuned. Before we got started, we laid a very specific set of ground rules. Number one, we didn't want to do any unnecessary cutting, welding, or drilling on this car. Secondly, no scratch, chips, or dents in that paint. <laughs> And number three, we've got to make this thing reliable enough to go get some ice cream. Wow, it's a little early for ice cream. <laughs> it's never too early for ice cream, Jim. But we didn't have any ice cream. All right, it's time for the teardown. And you know what that means. Let's get rid of that old internal combustion engine. Now, the Model A has a very interesting engine mounting system. The bell housing is actually cast into the engine block, and it also acts as the engine mounts and attaches part of the suspension, which becomes key later when you're making the adapter. Now the mock-up on this car was very important because we had to meet the challenge we set for ourselves to not drill, cut, or weld on this car. We wanted to try to mount everything using the original mounting points so this could be a bolt-in application. One thing we realized right away is that the battery box was just a little too long to fit between the firewall and the original radiator. In order to overcome the space constraint, we decided to ditch the original radiator and make a custom-made shell that mimicked the size and dimensions of the original radiator but it allowed us to retain the original grill and all its mounting points. Now we moved on to one of the most complex parts of the entire build, the adapter to the Hyperdyne. Now, because the bell housing was such a complicated piece that required engine mounting and also had a mount for the suspension on the bottom, it took many hours of CAD time and lots of hours on the CNC. Now the finished product is a real work of art and it mounts directly to the transmission without a clutch. It is directly coupled to the input shaft and goes through the transmission, through the drive shaft, to the rear wheels. We weren't done yet. We still had a few components to mount, and we decided to use an unused space under the front seat to find a place to hide those. We did have to drill, or actually enlarge a couple holes so we could get the wires out to the battery box and its various components. But all in all, the finished product was very clean. Now it's ready to commission the sensors and go drive this thing. Resistor. 
So what are you doing here? So I'm putting a new firmware in. This uh, first time to use a controller, you have to configure it. So now I gotta put the clone file in it. And if all goes well, it should just work after this. Shouldn't have to tune anything. Just came on. Is that working? Yeah, it's on. Um, hey Brent. Yep. Can you do something? Absolutely. More useful than what you're doing? What the? Make a note, I hate him. Don't worry, we're, we're not waiting on you, so you're, just, just take whatever time you need to do whatever you do. I'm almost done. Stop stressing me out. That's not like Bill now. It's all the way down. So it goes to 3600, okay. You think the brakes aren't working now. That is so weird to watch. Here, that's the brakes. Yeah. A little nervous. This is the most nerve wracking car I've ever. It is. It is very nerve wracking. <laughs> Test the brakes before you get too comfortable. They suck. Yeah, they're not great. They're not great <laughs> at all. Is the regen working when you let off? Yeah, it's working. Good, good. Okay, good. I think it was just the throttle wasn't tuned right. Third, third gear, it, yeah. it takes off from intersection, drives good. It's got some flat spots on the tires. Like, oh, oh, is it bouncy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but no, overall, man, this thing is funny. It's yeah. fun. God dang. Do you want to take another spin or you want to? I'll let you drive it before right. it gets dark. James and I took the car out for its first drive and it was a total success. Now it's time to button this thing up. Who's, who's taking the first ride in the rumble seat? Huh. Wow, wow, that does look good. Oh, that looks really good, the freaking green. That was a good idea, like, I have to hand it to him on that. That was a really good idea, because I was gonna paint it black, and I would've been like, oh, look at this box. Oh, that looks like it's a, like it could contain some Model A parts in there. I think the, the, the thing that really made this fantastic is how you guys, you know, like, you painted the bolts, it's green, it's the original green. I, like I mean, we could do this on any Model A. No, any Model A, we don't need, we, we drill two holes for uh, wire grommets under the seat. That's it. And it's and it's ready, and you can put it right to the trans. It, yeah. it requires very little change to the car. It's like... It's totally reversible. Yeah, this is a... You pull this out, you put the engine back in, and you're back running. Like okay. You didn't have to... We didn't have to chop, cut, anything. That's no cool. batteries under it either. There's... From the, from the motor back, from here, engine compartment back, there is... Nothing, nothing unoriginal. Let's do a little walk around of the 1930 Model A Roadster that we converted. This has five Tesla Model S battery modules in it. How much uh, range? What kind of kilowatts? So that's specs. about five Tesla modules is about 25, 26 kilowatt hours. Um, range in this expected to be about 100 miles. Okay. I'm sure this thing could go 120. You think so? Yeah, I, with the gearing in it, I'm sure you could go so fast. And this car's top speed. Before you feel get white knuckles, probably 50 miles an hour. Is that right? Exactly. If I could change anything in it, I would either put a helo uh, transmission with helical coil, helical gears, so it'd be quieter, or I would put a rear end ratio where third gear has lower. Okay. Probably my favorite detail was or is my charging port. If you want to see, so I made a hubcap that rolls down, and now that is your charging port which took a little bit of engineering to do. This versus the original motor, a lot of people are like, it must have gained a lot of weight. Honestly, it only gained about 25 pounds overall, even with all the batteries and everything, because the original engine is cast iron and very, very heavy. So really no change to any of the springs, uh, didn't disrupt the car at all. It didn't change it in any way, really. 25 no. pounds is nothing. 25 pounds and put a full tank of gas in it, probably be about even. Yeah.
pretty challenging to drive a Model A in today's traffic. Uh, right. Brakes aren't good. They're rope, you know, they're they're terrible. They're mechanical brakes. Stopping distances are bad. Um, so really, if you got to drive one, it's it's like you have to want to drive it. This one, after driving it, it's it's dramatically improved over what I would say a, a stock Model A is. It's uh, it's got a lot wider range. You're not having to shift gears. It's it's dead quiet, so you can just enjoy the road as you're going down the road in it. Um, it's a lot of fun. It has the regenerative braking to slow it down too. And that's another. So the brakes point. don't have to work as hard. Really, it's all right here. This is where everything happens. This is there's nothing beyond this that's not stock Model A, and this car is good enough to be in any Concourse show. I mean, it's a hundred point show car. If you didn't open the hood, no one would know. <laughs> hey man, how do you beat that? You know. <laughs> Tomorrow we're going to a show that's for pre-war cars. It's for only cars that are vintage like this. Um, we're going to roll in there, and hopefully we don't get uh, banned for life immediately. But we're going to have to sneak in. We're going to leave the hood down and just get people's reactions. I think it's going to be fantastic. We'll see how this goes. Uh, wish us luck. So, what's your prediction for today? So, I think it's. Uh, I think it's going to be. Uh, wild today. I think there's going to be a big crowd. For the next several hours, we fielded questions from the crowd. We got some positive feedback, we got some negative feedback, but we appreciated everybody's honest opinions. Just one, did you know it's electric? No, you're kidding me. It's all electric. Why? I'm sorry, this is a bad one. Do it to your own car? No. Uh, electric or... Not really. I appreciate the engineering that went into this, you know, but, but electric cars are, you know, the wave of the future apparently, but the old cars are never going to go away. What's your reaction to this EV conversion? Uh, mind blowing. I never, it's different. Would you do it to your own car? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I've seen your post, post on Facebook when y'all showed it. Oh, did you? Into it and everything. Oh, they, they, they banned us after that. Did they really? <laughs> I don't know why. why. I like it. You like it? <laughs> Would you do it to your own car? I wish. <laughs> One of those that's, uh, it'll be there. It's time is there. It's just once the batteries catch up, we'll be ready for it, you know. What's your reaction to it being electric? That's really cool. I didn't know an old car like this could have an electric motor. It's like a Tesla, but cooler. That's awesome. I really like you a lot. That's awesome. That's a perfect answer. Bye. A lot cooler. What do you think, Christy? I like it. Would you do it to your own car? Sure. Yeah, I, I would. Oh, nice. I would. It's a two-owner car, but it's also all electric. What? All electric? Yeah. I love it. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's really cool. What's your reaction to the electric Model A? <laughs> Well, I came to get some popcorn, and I look over here, and it's the first car that blew up and blew up and caught my eye, and I had to come run to it. But so would you do this to your own car? I would love to have a car like this, yes. Okay, good, good. Yeah. Deal. Action to this car. It's very pretty, and I like how the things go up. I love the color and everything, and it caught my eye when I saw this car right here. Um, I like that it's electric. I don't mind both. You want to race? Quiet. It is. It's I electric. Uh, maybe I can beat you. I think you could. <laughs> Isn't that what hot rodding is all about? Building something that satisfies your needs, and it may not make everyone happy, but that's not what you're trying to do. You're trying to make the car suit your needs. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and we look forward to seeing you at the next car show or on the road. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Yes. That's the 20s music. That is That's it. That's the music. You gotta drive up the flat truck. <laughs> oh, yeah.